I want to ask you about Ratchet. What's the secret behind Ratchet and Clank? The thrusters are fine, Clank. See? It's not every franchise that can have that kind of staying power. Is it the characters that the players really associate with? I think it's that a lot of folks at Insomniac really love Ratchet and Clank. I mean, they love the, those two characters. They love Quark. They love all the, the secondary characters we bring in. But I figured, hey, if you were in the neighborhood, maybe. It's kind of a relief. It's a kind of a, a valve that we can turn and, and, um, and express ourselves a little bit more openly than uh, we could with a more serious game. On the other hand, uh, I have to say that Having developed four Ratchets in a row on the PlayStation 2 got some folks burned out on Ratchet. I mean, all of us felt like if we had to do another Ratchet the next year, if we decided to do that, it would have killed a lot of people at Insomniac. And so doing Resistance was a great break for us. So now having those two franchises to, to play with, uh, it's really cool for the team to go back and forth between them and, and be able to experience both the realistic side and the humorous side of gaming. I don't know if you know this, I, I was in an elevator with you today, it was a bit crowded, and I overheard a developer say to you, my kid loves your games, like thank you. Well, what's that like to hear that? Well, I think for any of us at Insomniac, I'm sure at Naughty Dog, it's gratifying. We live in kind of this bubble, right? We're always heads down focusing on the game, and it's, it's rare to get out there and see the effects that our game have on, games have on people. And when you hear that, uh, it kind of makes you feel like you're doing the right thing, you know, in the right business. Tonight we're going to the awards ceremony. Do you think awards matter? And if so, to whom exactly? To the developer, to the consumer? Does the average game player care? If I think they're starting to care more, or certainly they will, because tonight's awards are going to be broadcast um, live for people to see. And so that's going to reach a much greater market than, or larger market than we have before. And so the Academy Awards in particular, or the Interactive Achievement Awards, are definitely going to gain more and more relevance each year. Um, I think that we'll probably start to see stickers on boxes and hopefully uh, the person out there who is looking to buy his next game is going to be saying, well, this, this game won uh, the Best Adventure Game Award and I, I better check that one out or it was a finalist. I think that really makes a difference, especially because this is a peer-based reward. We've got developers who really know what it's like to, to, to bust your ass for years to get these games out who can appreciate the, the craft. Uh, voting on these awards. So I think they have real importance.